showing you how to make a grunge background using only two textured stocks. Now the reason I did not come out with a tutorial uh, right on time was because I was in Washington DC, just got back and I am still really tired. So anyway, um, let's get right into the tutorial. So um, I'm going to first make a new image, uh, the default image size will work fine for this. And the first thing we need to do is make a black background filling it in with black. Now make a new layer and use the gradient tool with the gradient mode set on radial. Select a oh a, a nice teal or uh, turquoise color as your foreground and with the gradient mode set on radial again kinda stroke an effect kind of like that. That'll work. Now we can lower the opacity of this and that'll make it look better in the end. Just trust me on this one. Now, um, instead of making a new layer, we're going to go File, Open as Layers, and open up your first texture, um, Texture 1. I'll have the links in the description, don't worry. Uh, click Keep Your Orientation, because we're working with a image that is uh, horizontal, not vertical, really. Now, uh, click on the Scale tool, and we're going to scale this up to 640 by 400 the exact same size as our image. Now we're going to take the alignment tool and align it in the center and at the top after clicking on that item. It's really useful for getting it in the dead center. So uh, once you have that all aligned, select the layer mode as overlay and desaturate the layer. That works. Now duplicate this layer again. Click colors, brightness and contrast. Tone the brightness way down. Set the layer mode on normal. And tone the opacity way down as well. About around 13% looks good. It kind of extends the circle so it naturally kind of flows off. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is open up our second texture, aptly named uh, Texture 2. So make a new layer, click File, Open as Layers and open up your texture too. That new layer was entirely unnecessary just to have it. We're going to desaturate this as well and set the layer mode on overlay and turn the opacity down just a little bit as well. That is our base background. Now for the text. For the text I'm going to be using the font Tahoma Bold at the size of 64. I'm just going to type in GIMP know how. Center that exactly where I want it. Now right click on the text layer and click alpha to selection. And then color it in with a darker gray color using the fill tool. Now click select, shrink. Take your gradient tool and set the shape back on linear. And select a nice whitish color. And a nice lighter gray color. So you have a light gray to a white gradient and stroke down like this. Now we need to open up texture 1 again. It's proving to be a very useful texture. And again keep the orientation. Now all we have to do is just oops. My GIMP kind of froze up there. You could see I had two tools selected. Uh, just click the scale tool and scale it just so it fits over the text. You don't even have to worry about horizontal scaling. Uh, so once it fits over the text, move that above the text layer and alpha to selection the text layer and click select shrink by one. And remember this is because we made that dark gray outline. Now on the texture layer, click select, invert, then click edit, cut select none. Set this texture mode to overlay and that gives us a textured text effect and uh, merge that layer down. Once that layer is merged down you can duplicate this layer and on the bottom layer click layer, layer to image size then click filters, blur, 
motion blur. Select your motion blur mode as radial, so we get this kind of effect right here, and set the angle on 10 and click OK. And once that finishes blurring, you'll get an effect just like this. Set the mode on soft light, and that makes almost no difference, but duplicate it quite a bit, so you end up with something uh, maybe a bit less, like this. Now on this layer, uh, we can go ahead and duplicate that again. Click layer, layer to image size. Then click filters, enhance, despeckle. Uh, these are my settings, 7, 7, and 248, and click OK. Select that layer mode as overlay, and delete this text layer. Duplicate that one more time. And there is our grunge text effect, the basis of it. Now I'm going to add a uh, waveform effect. So duplicate this layer one more time. Then I'm going to click Filters, Distorts, Eye Warp. And use the Move tool and just move it down in a wave pattern. Just like what I'm doing right here. What do you know with that? Click OK. And that gives us a waveform pattern behind the text. So thanks for watching this tutorial, YouTube. It's how to make a grunge text pattern. Uh, if you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, well, don't subscribe. Why would you if you don't like it? And I am Gimp Know How, and I don't think I have anything else to say, so I'm done. By the way, here's the finished product. I keep on forgetting to do that. Um, yeah, so this is what it looked like.